Welcome back. It has been all over the news this week. First Colorado, now New York. Yep, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says he wants to legalize marijuana, but only for medical use. The governor plans to unveil details during his State of the State speech this Wednesday. And to achieve this, this part's interesting, Governor Cuomo is using administrative powers bypassing state and federal lawmakers. Will the plan fly? Bob Massey is a Fox News legal analyst. Keisha Heaven is a defense attorney and former prosecutor. Guys, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Bob, there's been a lot of talk because of Colorado. Uh, in mm -hmm. Colorado now, recreational marijuana is legal. You can buy it in larger quantities if you're a resident than if you're coming from out of state. What are some of the legal and constitutional issues involved? Well, I mean, ultimately, I think as it relates to this Colorado law, my concern would be are the abuses and the enforceability of it and the supervision of it. I think, Jamie, as has been written up in so many articles, the criminal defense lawyers, those people that may abuse the law in some way that get arrested, those police officers that may go past sort of their rights and arrest people, that constitutional law experts and criminal law experts are going to challenge the enforceability of the law and how it's being used and how it's being enforced. So I think it's a haven for lawyers because there's so many intricacies of the law, it's the practicality of it. Yes, on paper it looks good, but how is it going to be applied and how are the police going to enforce and make sure the violations are done in an appropriate fashion. You know, what I think is interesting, Bob, and Keisha, I'll address this to you. Bob mm -hmm. thinks it's interesting not only if you're a pot smoker that you can get it, but that the lawyers are going to make a killing representing people where police officers have arrested them and they're going to argue that they weren't doing anything wrong. In New York, it's a little different because it'll be for medical use in some hospitals. So Governor Cuomo starting pretty slowly. What are some of the issues there? What about enforceability uh, and the fact that he's going by administrative order rather than actually putting it up for a vote? Right. Well, what he's actually doing is he's utilizing a 1980 uh, law that allowed marijuana use for medical purposes. So it's not like it's a new law. It's just that a lot of people don't know about this and it was never enforced because it wasn't popular. But as we know, since Colorado and other states have been allowing a marijuana to be used for now recreational purposes, other states are starting to follow suit. And I think that's what's happening here. Bob, one of the things I remember vaguely from criminal law is the plain view doctrine. <laughs> Yes. Does that come into play if you break the law, say you're carrying too much marijuana, even in Colorado where it's recreational use? Does it have, what, what are the standards for a police officer to find wrongdoing? Well, it's interesting because in some of the research, you know, that at least I looked at in anticipation of this segment, one of the things that criminal defense lawyers are telling uh, people in Colorado, keep it in your trunk. Okay, so that goes back, of course, to the criminal procedure days of how cops could get, how do you get to the trunk? One of the issues in this, in this law, apparently, in Colorado, Jamie, is the container. It has to be kept in a sealed container. But now they're asking questions, well, what about a, 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 a pill keeping it in that kind of container? What about if you put it in a baggie? So what I'm saying is that the question you just asked is exactly where criminal defense lawyers are going to have a field day with because if in fact the cops arrest somebody because the interpretation of the container now you get into illegal search and seizure motions to suppress things like this is what's going to happen in the courts and judge are going to have to interpret the intent of the law what would be the crime Keisha in New York if it's for medical purposes in California when it was allowed for medical purposes and pot shops set up you could go to a lot of doctors, pay whatever the fee is, and get a diploma, a piece of paper that said you're qualified to buy it because you have back problems or whatever. Right. They didn't really even need to state a reason. So if you mm -hmm. have one of those and you've gotten it under quote unquote fraud, mm -hmm. because you really don't need it medically in New York when this is in effect, what would the the crime be and what would you expect the punishment to be right well the crime will probably be directed at the doctors like with we see now there's a lot of prescription drug abuse where people don't necessarily need um, these uh, pain killers that are becoming addictive and the doctors who write these prescriptions are considered to be targets for criminal um, prosecution and with regard to the people using them um, my fear is that 
with the marijuana use, it may not be as harsh as need be because it's considered now to be um, very helpful for people with serious medical issues. Sure. But I think what needs to be done is what medical conditions uh, qualify need to be very uh, defined. So and if the governor of New York's going to do it, you want him to be specific. Right. I have to leave it there, guys, but I rarely state my okay. opinion. But as you mentioned with the drug abuse of prescription drugs, darn if we don't yep. have a national registry. You could go from no shop question. to shop, even in Colorado. Right. Guys, thank yep. you so much. Thanks, Great Jamie. to have you on on this. Very interesting. Thank you, Jamie. Eric?